So I've said this before in videos, but I don't always feel the need to mention it, but I am indeed in my mom's house right now. But I don't live here anymore. At the age of almost 28, I have finally moved out to my own place. This lovely little studio apartment. And I don't really have a whole lot of regrets or embarrassments about living with my mom. Right now, I mean, I've come to just realize that I need to just be upfront and honest about my place in life and just be okay with that. You know, uh, I can only get embarrassed by other people's opinion on my living situation if I am embarrassed by it. So I've moved, basically, but I still have quite a few things that I'm looking all about the room at and cringing a little bit at how messy this room is even after I've moved. My mom has been very cool about letting me take things over to my new place piece by piece, but I really don't want to abuse that freedom that she's given me. But I'm looking at a lot of this stuff and it's all stuff that I like and it's stuff that for the most part I can live without and I don't know how much more of it I really want to bring over. But it is a pain getting rid of things. It is a pain an emotional pain and a physical laboring pain to get it out of your house and take it over to somewhere, whether that's a Goodwill or a dump or just somewhere where it will not be a part of your life anymore. It's hard for me to deal with. These, this is the step in minimalism that I think people acknowledge is always the hardest is there's the obvious crud that you're not using anymore, and then there's this stuff that you're like, oh, but I have some good memories with that. It serves me sometimes still, but I'm not quite sure if it serves me enough that it's really worth holding on to. But I've invested a lot of past time and money into it that it's really, really hard to admit that. And on the flip side of that, my new apartment is so empty right now. I have so little over there. And it just feels magnificent. It is so incredibly zen. The feng shui is of the peak feng shuiest <laughs> nature. <laughs> it is so nice over there having so few things. And it can take some more things. You know, I can bring more things over there. But I really, really am loving just how empty it is right now. And I don't know how much more of this stuff I really want to bring over but it's gonna bring me to a boiling point of a decision soon that I'm gonna have to get rid of some stuff. For my own, for my own well-being, for my own well-being, it is ripping off a bandage. <laughs> it's, it's refusing to prolong the suffering when you get rid of things. And sometimes, hey, you get rid of something and you realize it was a mistake to get rid of that. I mean, acknowledge that that is a very real thing. It isn't all Zen happiness going through this process. I got rid of something just a few weeks ago that I realized recently, hey man, I'm kind of I'm kind of wishing that I held on to that. But I can buy another one. It wasn't a massively expensive thing, but it's just the principle of the thing that's that's kind of difficult to deal with. I could need this later and yet I'm getting rid of it. Darn. What do you do in that scenario? But I really do think it is a blessing that my new place is quite small and doesn't allow me to be too much of a hoarder. Doesn't allow me to have too many things before my life gets uncomfortable. Make sure that I am constantly testing the actual necessity of the things that I am choosing to keep around. I'm not even going to begin to go on some pretentious analysis, but it really does extend beyond possessions to people in your life, obligations in your life, energy that you exert anywhere, these things in your life that you view as things that you own, like it's a part of you, you have some control over it, but eventually starts taking control of your life. It starts owning you. Relationships with people can start owning you if you do not keep a solid control over yourself. But moving has been fantastic. It has been fantastic. It's been stressful, but fantastic and so, 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 so rewarding. I'm so, so happy <laughs> to be in these initial stages of finally feeling some level of independence. And I'm not there yet, but I am getting there, boy. 
Man, am I getting there. And I get to choose. Like Taylor Swift said, this is our place, we make the rules. This life is my place, and I make the darn minimalist rules. <sighs> Just trim here and there anything that you don't need. Keep decluttering, and what you're left with is just... Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's just the purest you.